Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez back again. A few weeks ago I may have mentioned that I was a little bit worried about obtaining more Canon Pro 1 PGI 29 cartridges. Well, I have been trying to contact my supplier and I haven't been able to get a hold of them. But now I finally did and yes, he is actually working on a uh, uh, some sort of exhibition right now. So once he gets done, he's going to go ahead and contact his source and then we will set up the uh, shipping of all of these new PGI 29 cartridges as well as possible some Pro 1000 cartridges as well. And hopefully if I get enough of those, I may be able to pre-modify those and make them available to you so that you don't have to deal with that aspect of the uh, refilling process for the Pro 1000. Although it is going to be super easy even for a regular user to modify them. All it means is drilling a very carefully located 5 30 seconds of an inch diameter hole that will hold a cannon plug. That is it. That's where you will refill your Pro 1000 cartridges with 80 ml of Precision Colors inks. The inks are being perfected right now so that they will be as seamless a transition as possible. You should not be able to detect any change in tonality or color. Hopefully that is what we are trying, or not we, because I'm not actually doing that. He is trying to do for you guys. That's why it's taking so long. Of course, he if didn't care, he would make the ink available now and buyer beware. But that's not the way Precision Colors works. By the way, before I leave, I want to make sure that you guys understand this. I do not work for Precision Colors. I collaborate with Precision Colors. I do not make any money, do not get any compensation in any sort or form from Precision Colors. I test inks that they provide to me at no cost to me. Yes, that is true. And I give then an unbiased third party report on those inks. I do the same thing for Ink Owl. I do the same thing for some of John Cones or Inkjet Mall inks. I will do that with any inks that anyone wants to provide to me. Okay. I've also done, I believe, um, inks from uh, Ink Republic as well. So, again, I don't have any direct affiliation with any of these companies. I do this as a provider of a third party unbiased report on anybody's inks. Now, I happen to have a closer relationship with Precision Colors, but nothing that is considered being in business with precision colors. I was accused of that by someone and I want to make that perfectly clear that that is not the case. Yes, we communicate a lot back and forth. We trade ideas back and forth and I help him gain more exposure here in the United States due to my videos. By the way, we are up to almost 750 videos. I think it's between 740 in 750 right now that is a lot of videos go back and look at my old playlist and you will find a lot of interesting stuff that i've done in the past that is still relevant today so do that go back and look at all my old videos bring them back to life so that people can discover them again but remember when you look at a video it is put in the suggested level so that other viewers can actually get suggested or led to see some of the older uh, videos that may be a little bit stagnant at this point. All right, thank you once again. I hope this helped you guys. Uh, anybody that's hoping to get uh, cartridges for the Pro 1 and hopefully in the future for the Pro 1000, I should be able to get those pretty soon. And also Precision Color spent a lot of time recently researching shipping costs and information for shipping again to overseas locations, which had to be put to a stop recently because of uh, ridiculous costs. So he is revisiting that and we should have an answer very, very soon. So everybody that's not in the UK or Ireland or Canada or the United States, pretty soon you will be able to access supplies and products from Precision Colors. Thank you so much again. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like. And until the next time, as always, happy printing everybody. Bye-bye.